After reading quite some articles about wolves, they seem to look like a danger to us. But are they? And what can we actually learn about life from the wolves? So it seems like we don't really have room for these majestic animals in our society anymore. Wolves, are they actually a danger to us? Or do we just don't understand them anymore? You know, the purpose of wolves in nature is something beautiful. I always ask the question of why does the wolf go through the forest? What is its meaning for the ecosystem? And the answer to that is quite clear. The wolf goes through the forest to pick up sick and dead animals. And this is something that we in our society, in my opinion, don't understand anymore. We are made to be so fearful and to be so scared around death. If there is a flu going around in our society, we get told to do everything in our power to get rid of death and to be scared of it. But of course, death is part of life and we should of course take it seriously but we also shouldn't fear it there is a great meaning in death there is something pretty in death because it teaches us how to be human and it's something cheerful when life ends there is also room for a new beginning wolves on the other hand also demand loyalty something that we also lack in our current society and where we are so focused on individualism. Our society is so focused on making difference, on external characteristics and divide us all in where we are so focused and condemn each other based on race, ethnicity, skin color and sexuality. This is something that is not accepted within a wolf pack. In the last years, because the wolf entered the Dutch territory again, it was gone for a long while, but wolves are actually within the Netherlands again. I have read so many articles that make us scared of, of these majestic animals. And we should ask ourselves the questions in the pure existence of wolves roaming in nature. Should we believe those articles that show us that wolves are a danger to us? Or should we look at it more spiritual in where we understand that we don't leave room for nature anymore? We live in a current society where everything is so much based on fear and anxiety. There is no room for mistakes, failure, and where we always have to point at each other in when things went wrong and we don't allow for nature to do, just do its thing. We don't leave room for these majestic animals as we used to. And shouldn't we learn from the wolves? And shouldn't we step away from fears and anxiety around death? Which is something normal and pretty, which makes us human and have feelings. There is great lessons in grief, pain. It shows us how to love. We should learn to have more loyalty towards each other and not focus on these external or internal characteristics from people. Not to fight each other anymore on these things. There are wolf sanctuaries that work with these animals and where it is shown that wolves can be great companions to us once we treat them with respect and take care of them. I will leave some videos of the sanctuaries in the descriptions of this video so that you can see for yourself. But these animals teach us so much about life. Wolves are just one kind of animal, but there are many more animals that teach us so much. So the question is, are we going to continue being scared of them and treat them as a danger and an outcast? Or should we leave more room for them and have respect for them and especially reconnect ourselves with nature and animals in general. Shouldn't we also just step away from individualism and focus more on loyalty, respect towards each other? Yeah, I have great respect for wolves. I think they can be our companions. I think we should learn from animals 
instead of being fearful of them. I just wanted to ask these questions and raise awareness to how we live in our society and that there is maybe something to learn from wolves. What do you think about wolves? Should we have a place for them? And should we reconnect with nature and animals in general? Please let me know. And then I hope you liked the video. And then there is nothing else to say then. Big hug, much love. And then I see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao.